Hello guys. Welcome back to another color grading tutorial video. In today's video I am going to teach you how to color grade the montage like you just saw in the intro. This tutorial is going to be extremely simple as you won't need to install any plugins for this. I will leave the link of the preset in the description, once this video reaches 20 likes so make sure to like and sub and turn on the notifications, so that you can get the updates of such videos, as soon as they are posted. Now let's begin. After importing your clip on the timeline, go to the effects tab on the right side. If you can't see the effects tab then go to windows and check the effects tab. Then search Lumetri Color in the Effects tab. Drag and drop the Lumetri Color effect on the clip. Under the Effects Control Panel, make the following adjustments. Click on the Basic Correction drop-down arrow. Adjust the temperature to minus 45, tint to 12, exposure to 1.2, contrast to 12, highlights to minus 150, shadows to minus 90, whites to minus 4, and blacks to 29. Now scroll down and adjust the saturation to 127. Now, click on the Adjustments drop-down arrow. Set the vibrance to 67 and saturation to 100. Click on the Curves drop-down arrow and make the graph similar to mine. Click on certain points and drag it to make adjustments similar to mine. Now you can render the clip by pressing Enter on the keyboard. Or you can also right-click your clip and click on Nest to nest the clip. Click on the effects panel again and drag and drop the VR glow effect on your clip. In the effects control panel, under the VR glow, make the following adjustments. Adjust the luma threshold to 0.9, glow radius to 6, glow brightness to 1.9, glow saturation to 3.5. Now click on the tint color and type the code 00D4FF and click OK. Go to the Effects panel and drag and drop the Brightness and Contrast effect under the Color Correction list. In the Effects control panel adjust the Brightness to minus 8 and Contrast to 1. The CC has now been successfully applied to your clip. You can save the preset if you want by right-clicking on the Effects and clicking on the Save Preset button. Thanks for watching. 